Good morning. Hey, good morning, good morning. guys. Uh, we have a lot to talk about, a lot to unpack, especially if you have any family or friends down in Mississippi where there's a significant weather risk today. Yeah, a uh, big time significant weather risk. We're expecting, Colleen, these storms to kind of uh, fire up in Mississippi, Alabama, you know, through the early to mid afternoon. Those storms will make their way into Kentucky and uh, later yes. on this evening and later on overnight tonight. So it's going to mm -hmm. be a pretty serious deal here. Yeah, so it's a level four out of five risk for central Mississippi and that includes portions of Alabama could still see some of those stronger thunderstorms those long lived tornadoes. If we remember the Mayfield tornado outbreak a year ago mm -hmm. from December 10th, so just under two weeks of being a year ago from uh, today. Uh, they could see that similar setup with those long lived tornadoes, numerous tornadoes. We had about 71 tornadoes a year ago Goodness, with those Mayfield yeah. tornado outbreaks. So hopefully it's not as bad, but the risk is there. The ingredients are there as that warm threat. Lift. Well, let's talk about our area for real quick because we are not under that risk. We're under a low risk, which is good news. We love to be in the green. If we have to be under any severe weather risk, it's the green category that we would like to see. So the main threats won't be as bad. Exactly. And usually, Colleen, when you notice that we're more in that green risk, that normally means that the activity is probably going to be isolated in nature. It mm -hmm. won't be kind of widespread. You won't hear about numerous tornadoes likely happening at one time or numerous you know, damaging wind gusts, but a couple of communities that obviously live or reside in the green shaded areas, that's where there could be a couple of reports of maybe a tornado or two, maybe uh, some hail up to about golf ball size or bigger, maybe even a couple of uh, reports of 70 mile hour wind gusts or more. And unfortunately, with the timing of all this, Colleen, it'll be late, you know, sunset now, 530. And these storms at the earliest are going to be starting off at 530. Yeah. So it is going to be one of those deals where it'll be tough to kind of pinpoint and see it physically moving through, if that makes sense. Yeah, and really the tornado risk is very low out of all the risks that we listed there. Here is breaking it down. Rain and wind, definitely going to see the rain, definitely going to see the wind gusts up to 30, even 40 miles per hour. But if we get wind gusts over 60 miles per hour, that's in the severe thunderstorm warning category. So that's really what we're concerned with. Thankfully, the ingredients really aren't there. We were looking at the models all morning for tornadoes. There's spin, but there's just not enough instability to see tornadoes out there. So it's not zero, but it is pretty low. So that is good news. Uh, yeah, especially for Kentucky. Exactly right. It's one of those deals to just make sure you have a means to get the notifications on your phone and have a weather radio. Uh, of course, we'll be working around the clock here at WHAS uh, through the evening and overnight, even tomorrow morning, giving you the furthest updates on it. it yeah. Colleen, it could be till 4 in the morning. We're still dealing with the storms tomorrow morning. Yeah, so hopefully it clears out by 5 o'clock. We'll break down that future cast. But first, let's talk about the radar right now. This morning, going to be quiet, just those clouds out there and pretty warm. If you look up to the North, that's a warm front. So we are getting some of that warm, moist air from the south. So it's going to feel pretty muggy, maybe even like 70 degrees out there this afternoon with highs in the mid 60s. So this is them bringing snow throughout central plains for us. No snow that's going to melt. We're going to see rain in the forecast. So from now until three o'clock dry highs in the mid 60 is going to be pretty clear. Uh, the window for severe weather doesn't open until around midnight. Forecast model backing off onto those showers that could start to fire up around four, six o'clock. Not likely to not even be severe, just maybe a few rumbles of thunder. And there it is. And that's the line we'll be watching. Yeah, there's that line. You know, they're saying that the cold front where you see the storms in Jasper, Paley, Bedford around midnight, that's that line that we're probably mm -hmm. most concerned about with this whole system, Colleen. And yeah. we might deal with storms before that line moves through, like you were talking about earlier. The severe weather risk is certainly with those storms into the early evening and late evening hours, but this one overnight tonight is the main concern. Yeah, that's the that front provides the lift being able to uh, produce a possible tornado or produce a damaging wind. But I do have to say, this does look like a damaging wind event instead of a tornado event for us. Going to be passing the metro area at two o'clock, but also, the ingredients it takes a millisecond for it to come together so that's why the risk isn't low but isn't none but it is low so crossing the metro area at two o'clock in the morning make sure you have 
your phone on loud just in case have multiple ways ways to receive the warning in case you're having under severe thunderstorm warning um, or if you're a morning commuter at 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. going to exit by 5 a.m. that's the window I would give a little grace period because it could slow down a little bit could speed up but models have been consistent from that new, uh, midnight to 4 a.m. window for mm -hmm. severe weather they really have which is good to see you know they're lining up a little bit and agreeing on the overall threat and how things will be lining up yeah and you know after that comes you know when the storm system does pass it is going to get real cold we're real talking quick. about temperatures in the mid 30s by wednesday morning but we'll drop off in temperatures for the day and we'll wind up well below freezing by the time wednesday evening rolls around yeah so, so in the afternoon we're <laughs> going to struggle to get out of the 30s tomorrow so the high temperature mm -hmm. says 57 because we're going to reach the high temperature at 4 a.m yes. before that front passes through so it's going to be pretty cold wind chill values in the 20s throughout the afternoon going to see this wind yes with 25 miles per hour so we're going to see that better weather with the sunshine at least we have sunny weather with it it's been really gray here i need that sunshine back in that forecast yeah it's been gloomy here and you know too cooling as well we're going to talk about the wind and it's going to get really strong uh, when you get the low pressure and the cold and warm fronts close to each other there's a, a tight pressure gradient we call it mm -hmm. and that's what gives way to the very strong wind yeah. outside and we're going to start to feel it by 4 p.m today when you up to 25 30 miles per hour throughout the afternoon Partly sunny skies throughout the day, but you'll see that line passing through. You can even see where that front is, where that purple shade is uh, mm -hmm. right there. That's when we can see wind gusts not associated with the storms up to 35 miles per hour. But if we happen to get a severe thunderstorm, we could see wind gusts greater than 60. Um, so that's the, the, really the main concern is the winds with that system. But even throughout the afternoon tomorrow, Still going to be gusting up to 20, 25 yeah. with sunny, cold weather. So it's right. definitely going to feel like the like holiday Christmas. season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So maybe don't put up the lights on the ladder tomorrow <laughs> afternoon. Still going to be pretty breezy. It'll be uh, The wind will start to die down right. by, by Wednesday, Friday. Wednesday's not your best day to do that. And uh, there's some people that like the cold. If Thursday you want to get outside, it's 45 degrees. Tomorrow, or Thursday's the best day to do it. It'll be pretty sunny too. You gotta take advantage so. of that sunshine when we're in the getting close to the winter season yes. when we can because it, a lot of the times it's pretty gray right. um, and cold. So, uh, bottom line, um, we have a, a, a hit uh, on WHS coming up, so we'll have to speed this up um, and start to close out. Um, but yeah, the seven days uh, looks like Colleen. After we deal with the the strong storms, it should kind of quiet down later this week. But here's yeah. some of the main points about tonight. Yeah, so the window of severe weather, mainly midnight till 4 a.m. with the main threat, strong wind gusts, but we can't rule out that brief tornado. Right, exactly. Uh, one or two spin-ups is always good to take it seriously, especially with just knowing a year ago we dealt with that outbreak, of course, on yeah. December 10th and 11th. So it is one of those deals to just make sure um, you really just take it seriously. We don't expect it to be as bad and as rigorous as last year, but it is one of those things to always take it serious. Yeah, especially thoughts out to Mississippi. I'll yeah. definitely be watching the radar all night. <laughs> I'm gonna. Yeah, it's, not alone it's, there. It's, as a meteorologist, <laughs> hard to sleep when you know something devastating could be happening on the radar, even right. if it's not in our neck of the woods. Thankfully, um, thoughts go out to Mississippi. Hopefully, I mean. I hope it's not as bad as what the models are showing. That's all I'm going to say with that. So I'm, we're going to leave you on this graphic here just to break down that overall threat. If you're just hopping on a little late, significant weather outbreak, a weather significant weather outlook for central Mississippi could see a tornado outbreak with some strong, long lived devastating tornadoes possible for central Mississippi. This is not for us here in Kentucky. We are in the green category, so it's a very low risk of seeing damaging winds, brief tornado, and it wouldn't be a long lived devastating tornado. Uh, that's just not in the cards for us. It would be brief in that line of storms going to weaken. The ingredients really aren't there for us to see that devastating weather. So thankfully for us, uh, it's definitely not going to be as bad, but um, we're not in the clear per se, but mm -hmm. we do have the lesser extent of that severe weather than our friends down in the south do. Yeah, so definitely want to have multiple ways to see, receive the warnings today. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in with us. You can follow our Facebook page, Meteorologist Colleen Peterson and Meteorologist Sam Gabrielli, and we'll make sure to keep you updated throughout the day. Ben and Alden will be here throughout the afternoon, Chief Meteorologist Ben Pine, um, and they'll be tracking it throughout the early, late evening, and we'll be here in the 